I hope Sandra wins. Why? Meg's interior design is better. Here's the winner. Congratulations. You are the contestants for the next edition of the One Million for Makeover Challenge Show. These tickets will decide your fate. Oh, the jackpot. I'm lucky. Are you kidding me? The challenge begins. Hmm, simple yellow looks too boring. This won't do. How about a little magic? Oh, I know. I'll add some ocean blue color paint and mix it up. And to make the result look more expensive, I'll sprinkle in some silver glitter. Voila! A magical shade of light green will not leave anyone indifferent. It will be the color of my victory. Okay, I'm going to start by trusting my intuition, listening to my inner voice. It's telling me that I have to call a professional. Hello! Send me the most famous artist. Now! All means are good in challenges, after all. You wanted to see me. Wow, that was so quick. I have an assignment for you. Paint this wall beautiful enough to make everyone's mm -hmm. jaw drop. Vicky has a big responsibility. As with such a cosmic budget, the result should be giga luxury. So why not spend some of the money on the services of a master of the brush, who will do all the work for her perfectly? After all, for a true professional to perform such a task will not be difficult. But we must not forget that the ability to find the easy way is also a talent. This will be the Mona Lisa of our time. I'll add a few touches here and accentuate the expressive glance. And I can't leave without attention to the hair. It'll give a fiery effect. And at the end, I'll draw some details for the fullness of the picture. A masterpiece. I never doubted myself. There you go. You deserve it. That's it? What about the extra pay for creativity? Yes, yes, of course. Goodbye, real masterpiece. Why buy a roller when you can make one out of improvised materials? My anti-stress comes in handy too. Now that's what I call innovative technology. Let's put my budget roller to the test. It seems to be good. This way I can paint a loft style wall. Ah, oh, I have to patent this invention. Thank you for agreeing to come back and finish the gold elements. My effort was worth it. What? Abby, do you see what I see? That guy did all the work for her. That's cheating. I've never built a bed, but it shouldn't be hard, should it? Oh, I take it back. I was so wrong. Gods of makeover, I beg you, give me strength. All for victory. I'm beginning to get pretty good at it. The frame is ready. It's time to paint it. And when you're on a pretty big budget, you can splurge on silver paint. Compared to building a frame, it's more like art therapy. Mm -hmm. It's time to master the headboard. That won't be a problem, as I already have an awesome DIY idea. We take the acoustic foam and use a construction stapler to attach it to the board and decorate the top with a gorgeous silver fabric. The headboard is done. And with such expensive bedding, sweet dreams are guaranteed for me. After all, a soft cushion is good, and a financial one is even better. The final touch is left. I'll add contrast by using this soft, cloud-like plaid. Now my cozy nest looks not only rich, but also sweet. Those two don't have enough creativity to outdo me. I want to order a first-class bed made of solid gold. Oh, that was fast. That's what I call service. Leave everything here. I'll take it from there. And here, take a tip for quick delivery. We do our best, miss. Okay, Vicky, be careful or you'll ruin your manicure. Just a little more. Done. Not a single nail is damaged. Buying an orthopedic mattress was a good idea. My back is waiting for magical sleep. Vicky's interior has notes of luxury in absolutely everything. And no wonder. I bought few decorative pillows and that premium plaid. It's so easy to do renovations with a lot of money. How do I make a comfortable but cheap bed? I've got it. Pallets from the nearest supermarket will serve as the base. Lucky I got them for next to nothing. Ugh, but there's still work to be done. I can't do without the beams or I'll fall right while sleeping. That way they'll stick together. Whew, proud of myself. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to be my bed legs. And why buy a blanket when you have cardboard? Soft, the test was successful, but I can't leave the bed like this. Even though I'm poor, that doesn't mean I can't decorate my bed. Now I 
feel like a flowery cardboard nymph. You can't do without pillows, but don't worry, Abby knows her stuff. After all, her poor life has taught her a lot of smart tricks. It's so good, as good as a feathered one. I'm done with the bed, I can finally get some rest. I shouldn't have skipped the art class. Oh, I had an idea how to make it easier for myself. Thanks to technological progress, this projector will save me. It's true what they say, modern problems require modern solutions. Oh, let it hang right there in the most prominent place. It's kind of cheating, but it's within the rules. It's not my fault that I don't have a talent for drawing or a personal artist. All you have to do is sketch the outline of an art. You know what? That didn't turn out bad. Thanks, I don't need your help anymore. The next step is to draw the lines with a marker to make the drawing look clear. I can develop my creative skills at this rate. The last step is to color the flower. This bright paint should work. It'll go great with the light green color walls. I'll start with the petals. That crimson hue is mesmerizing. Who would have thought that Jean hadn't actually held a paintbrush since junior high? And now a potential floral masterpiece is looming in front of us. I think I got inspired. Leaves, it's your time. Maybe one day my creations will decorate the walls of the Louvre. Girls, look at this cool painting hanging in my room. I made lemonade for all of us. But why would I waste the rest of the products? When life gives you lemons, use them to create a work of art. We cut our citrus in half and wipe its slices with a napkin to dry them out a bit. After that, we prepare paint in the shades we like. We take the slices, dip them in different colors, and that's how we get improvised stamps, which we then use on the canvas. Abby's creativity is not to be missed. Which one should I choose? Wow, I didn't know she could paint. I need to think about making my own art too. Or better yet, three at once. And it's unlikely that such poor girls have heard anything about fluid art. We take acrylic paints and mix them with water and each other, pouring them into one glass. Now carefully pour the mixture of paints from the cup on the canvas, thus forming arbitrary lines. And next to them use regular paints. Personally, I will use gold and black. And to get the final result, smudge the lines while tilting the picture so the paint spreads over the entire surface. But don't hang the painting right away. The paint needs to dry or there's a chance to ruin the painting. This is a great DIY for those who want to do something sophisticated and exquisite. But it's not likely to work for you poor people. Vicky's paintings were the perfect complement to her Lux interior. Oh, what could be better than the aroma of freshly brewed coffee? Oh, I have nothing to put my cup on. I have no choice. I'll have to make a table myself. So the first thing we need to print out images of dollars, which we then carefully cut out. We put them on the material from which to make the legs of the future table. And draw an outline within the dollar signs with a marker. When we finish with it, we take a box cutter and carefully cut out the figures we need. I never thought I would craft my own furniture. Oh, I did it. But this poor gray color doesn't suit me at all. Gold paint will make anything look 10 times more expensive. There, that's better. But it doesn't look much like a table yet. We have to connect them with metal pipes. Since the material is loose, we just put them in between our dollars. The legs are ready. All that's left to attach is the tabletop. And voila, a unique bedside table is ready. You can't buy that in a store. It's a good thing that not only am I giga rich, but so is my imagination. Hey roommates, how's it going? You'll soon see everything with your own eyes. I'll show her what I'm capable of yet. Ugh, <sighs> tough. Too bad you can't hire an assistant, of course. Hmm, where to start? Hey, aren't you hungry by any chance? Help yourself. Cool, with triple cheese, my favorite one. Abby, come join us. Bon appetit. Wow, is this all for me? Yeah, you can finish it. Thank you. Great, just in time to save money on materials. Now you're going to live here. <laughs> Jane decided to tackle the task in her own way, but also equally creative way. 
We draw on the polyvinyl chloride and then cut out circles. Then it has to be twisted and glued with special tape. The first half of the work is done. My next goal is the tabletop. Using a construction compass, we draw two perfect circles, which we then also cut out. Now we have to put them on top of each other, and here I have a table ready to use. What a handy girl I am after all. The girl's next task is making a lamp. Finding the right materials was easy. Abby, as always, took the task budget-friendly. If it hangs right over the bed, it's more convenient to read books. Minimal cost, but great result. Let there be light. Vicky, on the other hand, decided to use styrofoam this time. She draws three circles of different sizes and then cuts them out. Hi there. And don't forget about the gold paint. Now we need to attach them to each other to make a cone. This will be the leg of the lamp. The styrofoam ball should be the color of wealth, too. Finished with the painting, we wrap it with LED tape, which we pin. And now the interesting part. We insert the pre-prepared skewers with a gold confetti on the end, all over the ball. Whew, now I'm going to do the other side. Beautiful! The result clearly lived up to my expectations. A lamp like this would impress anyone, as well as highlight the expensiveness of Vicky's interior. It will make it easier to count the money I'm going to win in this challenge. And what's Jane up to? Why should I waste materials and my energy when I can just upgrade my past work? A table lamp two in one. The girls wouldn't have thought of something like that. All that's left is to paint it silver to match my status. I hope the host can appreciate my creativity as well. Hey, have you ever seen something that cool? When the show's over, I'm taking the girls to a dinner party. Just don't get upset when you lose. I have no doubts about winning. Wow, you girls have such gorgeous rooms. Here we are at the end of our show. Well, as you can see, all three contestants did a great job. But there will only be one winner. I already know what I'm going to spend that million dollars on. That's the suspense. Even I'm wondering who's going to win. So the winner of the challenge is... Thank you all, I'm honored. No, Vicky, not you. Have you seen my portrait? I won! But you didn't draw it yourself, and that counts as a violation of the rules. Why don't you make an exception for me? Don't distract me from announcing the winner. So the million dollars goes to Abby. As with a minimal budget, she managed to make such a cool room. Jane comes in second place and Vicky comes in third. Don't worry, better luck next time. I can't even believe I won. But I want to share the prize with my roommates as we are best friends. And we all put in a lot of effort. Oh, so touching. There's nothing more beautiful than a sincere friendship. And if you want to participate in our show too, write about it in the comments below this video. And maybe next time we'll come to you.